Have you ever told your doctor that something's off with your hormones, only to be brushed off, dismissed, or shrugged at in response? Maybe you were told it wasn't worth it to test your hormones, or that accurate testing isn't available. Or maybe you were simply handed a prescription and sent on your way without much explanation at all. If this sounds familiar, you need to keep watching because I'm spilling the beans on three vital truths your doctor probably isn't telling you about your hormones. Let's get started with a few statistics so we all understand the scope of the hormone problem we're diving into. At the time of this recording, 70 to 90% of women experience some form of premenstrual syndrome or PMS, including heavy bleeding, anxiety, depression, painful cramping, and insomnia. One in six women experience infertility, and one in four pregnancies end in miscarriage. 85% of women experience menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, insomnia, weight gain, and memory loss. What's the common denominator here? Well, you guessed it, hormones. And not just estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Many other hormones and hormone metabolites can contribute to these conditions and symptoms, none of which are normal, by the way, not even PMS. Yes, hormone function and balance is complex. Our hormones change dramatically throughout our lifespan and can fluctuate equally dramatically each month. When sex hormones are balanced and nimble, they protect our brains, bones, hearts, and allow us to bring children into the world. When they're off kilter or toxic, hormones make us miserable. They predispose us to disease and cause cancer. And treatment options from a conventional medical standpoint are limited. Sure, we've come a long way from the days when PMS was diagnosed as hysteria and women were locked away in sanitariums, but we still have a very long way to go. Women's health issues are rarely prioritized when it comes to research dollars, especially because the nature of hormones makes a one-size-fits-all treatment impossible. And anyone who has trudged down the long road of infertility treatment will tell you we also have major accessibility issues because of how much the treatments that we do have cost. I probably don't need to tell you how frustrating it can be to try to DIY your own hormone healthcare or wrestle answers and options from a system that isn't designed to appreciate or investigate your unique needs. But I do need to tell you that there is more out there for you that you do have options and that you can get answers and that it does matter. It matters if you're suffering from intense depression and irritability every month. It matters if you've been traumatized by miscarriage after miscarriage. It matters that you're up multiple times per night with hot flashes and exhausted and brain foggy during the day. Even if you're told it's normal, it doesn't have to be that way for you. You deserve to know what's going on with your hormones. So while I might not be your doctor, I am a doctor. And since I'm suspecting that yours isn't giving you the full scoop, I'm going to let you in on three absolutely critical truths that just might open the doors to bring brand new hormone balancing opportunities for you. Number one, hormone testing does help if it's strategic and comprehensive. Most of the women I talk to about hormones have been unable to convince their doctor to test them, even though they have serious symptoms. Even more have been told that their hormone tests are normal and therefore useless when it comes to solving their concerns. This is especially common during perimenopause and menopause when hormone fluctuations are often unruly, unpredictable, and very problematic. I agree that a random blood draw of, say, estradiol or progesterone has a normal limit you can drive a bus through and limited diagnostic value on its own. 
But the truth is that timely, complete hormone testing does help you figure out why your hormones seem to be messing everything up. Not to mention, it helps rule out hormones as a root cause, if that happens to be the case. And you can get your hands on many of these tests yourself, because hormones can be accurately measured in urine and saliva via simple at-home collection kits. The test I recommend the most is the Dutch Comprehensive Hormone Test, because it not only tests the levels of hormones like estradiol, testosterone, and progesterone, it also tests cortisol, your chronic stress hormone, DHEA, and two other forms of estrogen, allowing us to see the complete picture of hormone function and relative balance. I can't tell you how many aha moments I've had with clients when we review these tests together, because we can finally see all the puzzle pieces and how they fit together. Even when testing reveals big issues, there's always a sense of relief and empowerment because understanding why something's happening is the first step to fixing it. The other big reason I love the Dutch test is because it also tells us how your body is processing or detoxifying your hormones, which leads me to truth number two. Poor estrogen detoxification makes you miserable. In fact, when it comes to overall health, how your body processes and gets rid of hormones is just as important as your hormone production. Think about it for a second. If your body is making healthy amounts of, say, estradiol, but your body's unable to get rid of it, you can end up with too much floating around in your bloodstream or stored in your fat tissue. More on that in my video about how your microbiome can make you fat. Not only can sluggish estrogen detox create a hormone mess, but which pathway your body favors can make all the difference. Some pathways are anti-inflammatory and others are pro-inflammatory. And which pathway your body prefers depends on your genetics, your diet, your micronutrient status, your stress levels, and even your gut health. And if you're processing estrogen down the wrong or inflammatory pathways, you're at more risk for endometriosis, weight gain, heavy and painful cycles, PMS, and even cancer. You might be thinking, Dr. Kate, how do I know which pathway my body's using to process estrogen? Well, a standard blood test isn't going to tell you, but the Dutch test will. It maps out all of your estrogen metabolites, which are the breakdown products of the first two steps of estrogen detoxification. And it tells you which pathways are getting the most detox traffic. If your body is tending to detox using a less than awesome pathway, you can use nutrition, specific herbs and plant extracts, and other functional strategies to help shift that preference to something less problematic. For more details, watch my video about using functional medicine to treat endometriosis right when you get done with this one. Number three, birth control and hormone replacement therapy are not your only options. One of the reasons that doctors don't regularly test hormones is they lack options for treatment. I've spoken to dozens of women who have been given every form of hormonal birth control under the sun despite the fact that they have had horrible side effects each time because their doctors just don't know what else to do. Same goes for treatment of menopause symptoms. If a woman is uncomfortable with hormone replacement therapy or unable to utilize it because of her history of cancer, many doctors have nothing else to offer. Are birth control and HRT valid options for treatment in some circumstances? Of course. But if they're not right for you, you need to know that you have other options, including doing a deeper and more root cause dive into your hormone levels and metabolism. Here are just a few research validated nutraceuticals that relieve symptoms and support healthy hormone balance. The first is chasteberry extract and black cohosh root extract. These plant-based compounds make a great team for hormone regulation during reproductive years. They ease cramping, PMS symptoms, 
and improve cycle timing. They also help promote the production of progesterone, which supports fertility and calms anxiety. The second pairing is saw palmetto and stinging nettle. Both of these plant extracts help shift the metabolism of DHEA away from the 5-alpha reductase pathway, which decreases the production of DHT. I know all that sounds complicated, and I'll make another video explaining it all. But the take-home message is that this shift reduces symptoms of PCOS, like infertility, acne, facial hair growth, and weight gain. In men, it helps reduce balding and prostate issues. This is one of the pathways I always pay special attention to when looking at the Dutch test, because PCOS often goes undetected, even though it underlies so many hormonal symptoms and has so few conventional treatment options. The third is Rapontic rhubarb extract, specifically the active ingredients Rapontisin and Desoxy Rapontisin provide relief for multiple menopausal symptoms, including hot flashes, sleep disturbances, mood swings, irritability, anxiety, and sexual problems. They also have the benefit of 20 years of safety and research studies, so they can be used by women who are at risk for hormone-based cancers. This compound is a lifesaver for many women struggling with perimenopause and menopause. One of my clients told me that she recommended it to a family member, and they got so much relief that she is now her favorite sister. <laughs> See, you've got options. To quote a recent New York Times article on menopause, we have a high cultural tolerance for women's suffering. Given how common these hormone-related symptoms are in women of all ages, races, and socioeconomic backgrounds. And it's really frustrating that more doctors aren't trained in or talking about these options, both for getting to the root of hormone function with advanced testing or treatment strategies. But guess what? Now you know, and that means you're one step closer to finding a solution. Doesn't that feel good? To take the next step, head on over to the show notes. You'll find all kinds of helpful resources, including more information about how to get your hands on hormone balancing options for yourself. And you're always welcome to leave me a question in the comments. Happy to point you in the right direction. Thanks for tuning in. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We're posting more practical tips, important info, and functional medicine goodness all the time. Speaking of, be sure to check out my other hormone videos coming right up. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.